glad we're here today with you and it's a pleasure meeting you. Uh, there are a few of the questions that arise in, my, in our mind when we think about PTV and you as the founder of PTV, as the director as well. And uh, so, um, how do you manage to lay the liberal roots of television as founder? Well, <clears throat> I didn't lay any liberal roots. We're talking about 1964. The Pakistani society in 1964 was a relatively liberal society. And therefore, I was simply following the rules of that liberal society where people wanted to see good things, good art, good acting, good scripts. And uh, censorship was not an issue because there was no censorship then. We were our own self-censors in the sense that we are Pakistanis. We know what is permitted in society and what is not permitted in society. And so we were self-censoring ourselves. Therefore, we were liberal. Uh, how did you see your role in the mid-70s when TV was considered to have achieved a high level in drama production? Well, you see, <clears throat> drama production, we, we are talking about Lahore in 1967 and later Karachi. Lahore had a theatre tradition. There were good writers of drama and there were good actors and actresses. And therefore, drama became our, shall I say, strong point. <clears throat> and we did all kinds of plays. We did comedy. We did plays of special interest for women. Plays of special interest for children. And uh, we did... Uh, translations of the world's great literature, uh, Dostoevsky, Tolstoy, Shakespeare. <clears throat> and all of this went down very well in that liberal society. Okay. How did you see censorship which was introduced in the late 70s? Well, it didn't bother us because we were ourselves very conscious of what we were would be permitted to do by society and what society would not like us to do. So we knew and the, the external censors didn't bother us at all. Uh, because PTV is a government, was a government channel, it still is a government channel, so was there any pressure from the government on you as well and PTV? <clears throat> you see, political pressure is always only concerned with political programs. Political programs means news and current affairs. In news and current affairs, we were not liberal because those were issues sensitive to the government of the day. But when it came to entertaining programs, women's drama, literature, <clears throat> Uh, the censorship did not bother us. Okay. What were the challenges faced during the days of live transmission? Ha! Ah, first of all, of course, the fact that there was no recording and so we had to be very well prepared. Uh, now, it sometimes happens that an actor forgets his lines. All right? <laughs> this happened with us also. An actor forgot his or her lines and then the prompter sitting at the back of the studio had to prompt him by reminding him of those lines. Now, the prompter's voice was also going on air. <laughs> so these were the adventures, shall I say, of learning the rules of the game. And uh, your views about the overall flavor of PTV? Today? Oh, uh, yes, today. <clears throat> you see, when we started television in Pakistan, Pakistani society was not a consumer society. Today, 
Pakistan is, like the rest of the world, a consumer society. Therefore, our values have changed. Today, students don't go to university to so much to study literature, philosophy, and the arts. They go to study business administration. They go to study what will help them make a living. Then, programming also has to change. The writer of today's drama has to keep in mind the fact that he is addressing an audience of a consumer society whose values are very different from those of a society which is based on education and cultures. That's the difference. Okay, thank you so much. It was great having you with us it's today. It's been a pleasure and talking to you. Any, uh, you want to suggest anything to the students of today who will be watching you? Well now, <clears throat> I think that the performing arts should be taken as work. Now work means that you must be prepared for what you are going to do. You must work hard. Performing arts should not be taken as something to be enjoyed only. Of course it has to be enjoyed, but it is work like any other work, like the work of a physicist or an engineer. Now a physicist and an engineer prepare themselves for what they are going to do that day. So must the performing artist. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you.